Hey, you guys. Today is National Ice Cream Day. You can get this at Trader Joe's. Raspberry. Vanilla cream bars. Delicious. Also, these mini cones. You've seen me with these before. They also have vanilla. Um, both at Trader Joe's. That's the good news. Um, the bad news on National Ice Cream Day, I want to share with you some information about a terrible ingredient that's in almost every fun ice cream flavor. Except, I do not believe it's in sherbet. And it's in these raspberry bars. These are even gluten-free, but um, we all love ice cream. I don't know anybody who does not like ice cream, but um, I think the last straw was to find Trader Joe's. It's supposed to be, I thought, healthy food. Um, one of the ingredients in this delicious ice cream that I love is, um, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, carrageenan. I will post a link in the description box below. I'll even spell the word out. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. Um, the link is a 44-page report, but in a nutshell, um, I heard about this not quite a year ago, that it's in coffee creamer. You know the powdered coffee creamer that I was addicted to? It was in that. It's a thickening agent, carrageenan. New studies reinforce a link to inflammation, cancer, and diabetes. Now, I, I didn't know it was linked to cancer and diabetes. I quit uh, using powdered creamer in my coffee because of the inflammation. So when I found, started getting ice cream recently, I found it in ice cream and they use it just to thicken uh, the food item. And they have a 44 page report here um, with everything. Um, and they have a, a kind of a summary. It's extracted from red seaweed, found in chocolate milk, among other processed foods and beverages. If you, I do believe it's like in those chocolate, the pre-made chocolate um, milk products that taste rich and thick and chocolate. That's the stuff that, it's the carrageenan. Was looking for page nine again it's it's 44 pages but on page nine they have like a summary and it mentions in the colon carrageenan activates some kind of signaling if something going on in the colon which confuses the colon in a nutshell and has a potential for forming polyps which you know lead to colon cancer and that's such a shame. Um, I have so many fun ice cream memories with just growing up. Do you know every night, growing up as a kid in the 60s, every night we had a bowl of chocolate ice cream for dessert. My dad, you know, was upset. He was not crazy about sugar, but mom was always sure to have chocolate dessert. And then the other fun ice cream memory was dad taking us to a thrifty drugstore. And every time, without fail, he would buy us an ice cream cone back in the day when one scoop was a nickel, two scoops was a dime, and he'd get 15 cents. He'd get the big three scoops. And 
for dad to do that, he was against sweets and sugar. It was such a fun memory. And so there was that memory with my dad, mom and the chocolate ice cream every night. Then with my husband, if we get married, and I think that the only ice cream in the world is chocolate, so um, he is sold on chocolate chip ice cream, but he doesn't just eat the ice cream. He may, Every night he makes this huge chocolate chip shake. So for decades now, it's always been the chocolate chip shake ice cream that he always loved. So, um, I just thought I'd take this opportunity on National Ice Cream Day, as much as I know we love ice cream, to just throw out there a word of caution. And again, the biggest disappointment was to find Trader Joe's, my favorite little ice cream cone, Trader Joe's has it. I thought there was kind of like a oversight program that Trader Joe's had that wouldn't let a lot of this stuff come in, but that's why it's always good to read ingredients, number one. Number two, um, Sherbet does not have it. Um, I even got a light ice cream a couple of times, and it was in the light vanilla ice cream. And again, it's a thickening agent. A couple years ago, I thought I was doing well. I thought, oh my goodness, it's in my coffee creamer. So I eliminated that thinking I had it out of my life. Um, and I was wrong about that. It's, it's just important that we read ingredients. Um, so, um, again, I will post this spelling of the word carrageenan. I'm not sure that I pronounce it properly. And I will post the 44-page report on findings on this. And there is just an upset in the community. Like, why are we finding it in our organic f food? Or why are we finding it in what's supposed to be healthy food? Well, that is a good question. I'd like to know that, too. And um, the next best thing to ice cream is like a thick chocolate shake or a thick chocolate milk. If you have like those Yoohoo's or any like pre-bottled, pre-made chocolate milk, look to see if it's in that. Um, I have a protein drink. In fact, I'll probably mention it in the video. I'm making a uh, video using a pre-made chocolate milkshake protein. It's like you think it's like all healthy. Carrageenan is in that. It is delicious. When you look at this chocolate protein milkshake, oh my goodness, it's thick and rich and chocolate and you'll just love it. And they're bigger than beans is that carrageenan. And um, so, and also the breakfast, I want to say um, the breakfast drinks. I had a video I did on a breakfast drink. I forgot the name of it. I do believe it's in that also. But I'll post a couple links to some of my fun ice cream videos in the past. And But I'm, I'm really going to be thinking of my niece, especially now when she comes over. I feel bad to give her the little ice cream cone now. I'll probably just stick with a little sherbet, a little raspberry sherbet bar. And I, I just feel terrible all the things we, we are eating, number one. No wonder we don't feel well. And then we give it to our little kids and... Um, that's a shame, especially for those of us getting Trader Joe goodies, thinking we're doing well. It comes to find out. Um, you find it in what you think is a healthy food. So, um, with that, let's see, I told you the story. My mom always gave us chocolate ice cream every night. My dad and Thrifty's ice cream cones, good times. Um, my husband and his 
milkshake. In fact, I just shared a, like a story or a role play. I used to get so mad. I was talking about him and his food issues. And he would just clutch onto that shake. It would be always be a big cup. It would never be a teeny tiny little bit. He would clutch onto that like, like, it, like, like he thought someone was going to take it away from him. And I wasn't crazy about a big chocolate chip shake, but I did want like a spoonful or two, and he would get so mad. I just shared that, I think, a day or two ago. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to cut down on the ice cream cones that I love and maybe just stick with sherbets. But if you guys are putting the powdered coffee creamer in your coffee, it's in that. And, um, so just, just check anything that, that, that is thick that you might think, uh, has a thick substance to it and check the ingredients. We should just be checking ingredients. Just, we should just be checking anyways. Like, I wouldn't even know how bad, what are the other bad ingredients. But, uh, yeah, I really, really wouldn't know. So, and a lot of things are disguised. Um, you know, we don't recognize them as maybe their scientific name. We recognize it as just like a everyday name, but if they put the official name, we might not. So if you're really having pain in your joints and just not feeling well, that could be the inflammation issue. Also, I've had to get give up Belveda breakfast biscuits and graham crackers. I've had to slow down. I have found out wheat and flour cause inflammation in my joints. And believe it or not, just by eliminating the... Um, carrageenan as much as I can and the wheat and flour in my diet. My joints feel so much better. My whole body. So, um, I just thought I'd mention that. On National Ice Cream Day. I think this is going to have to be the new Trader Joe go, go to ice cream. And it's cool. You can either eat it right out of the freezer as a as a cold ice cream bar or just set the bar in your dish and let it melt and it turns into just like a dish of a sherbet raspberry and vanilla cream sherbet and this is gluten free and it's only like 80 calories thanks think yeah 80 calories And the number one ingredient is water. That's kind of nice. So anyways. So be sure to check the description box below for fun ice cream videos that I've made in the past. Celebrate Ice Cream Day. And um, again. Findings.